I will say at this time, we will not speculate on the motive for the placement of the, de of the device. No speculating. If we were to say this was a hate crime or this was a terrorism incident, we could find out that somebody was upset that, with the owner, Mr. G's. But officials are not ruling out a possible threat against the NAACP in Colorado Springs. I'm not going to be naive. I know what the NAACP means to some extremists in this country. So we keep all possibilities open. Take a close look. Put together from witness testimony, this is what the FBI thinks the person of interest may look like. We are also here to announce we are offering a $10,000 reward, jointly sponsored by ATF and the FBI, for lead information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person responsible for placing this improvised explosive device. More information about the device was not released as to avoid any copycats. What the FBI will say is this. As he carried something down the alley just prior to the bombing and returned to his truck empty-handed at the time of the explosion. No one was hurt and the building was only charred on its side, but that doesn't matter to authorities who are calling this an intentional bombing. That's enough for us to do the investigation. We don't have to have a certain degree of damage to prosecute somebody on this.